Welcome back to Learn SKN and today we have an agricultural science single award uh, video for you for May June 2019 paper one paper one May June 2019 last year's paper one all right now this paper look a little you know a little frail a little not so bright so in some spots you might have to squint real hard to see what is being read but for but that's what I have so I'm working with what I have so let's just jump right into it number one a farmer who does not use pesticides or chemical fertilizer is most likely practicing organic farming. Organic farming is a use is a little to no use of you know artificial stuff. Biodiversity refers to the different species of organized organisms and the variety of habitats in which they live. Number three, which of the following institution which institution has the following objectives to facilitate trade between member countries, to develop common trade policy. To act as a bargaining body when negotiating with outside forces and of course the answer is caricom or caribbean community number four an agronomist is a person who specializes in the study of the the growth and management of crops agronomy agronomist number five which of the following constraints to agriculture is remedied to a large extent by the farmer and so the answer is c land tenure now lack of infrastructure that's more of a government thing uh, trade barriers, that's government and policies. Farmer can't really do nothing about that. Topography, that's nature. So for the most part, that's nature. Farmer can't really correct that. But land tenure is normally where the farmer go and try and own a piece of the rock, go and own some land. Number six, which of the following is not considered a factor of production. And the answer is marketing. Land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship, or management, that's the factor of production, but marketing is not. Number seven, the growing of crops in a liquid nutrient medium is known as hydroponics. Number eight refers to this table. At, on, the, on the information in the table, the equilibrium price of tomatoes is, and the equilibrium price is where quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal, same, 700, 700. And so the price at which they are equal is called equilibrium price. And so you have $2. So the answer is C, $2. Number nine, legumes are especially important in organic crop farming because they, and the best answer is C, promote nitrogen fixation so they can add natural nitrogen to the soil so you don't have, a, you don't have to use any chemicals. Number ten, which of the following is not a fixed cost, and the best answer is A, fuel, because fixed costs are those that do not change based on the level of production. But fuel change based on the level of production. You might want you might have to plow just one acre today, maybe two acres next week, three acres the following week, no acres the other week. But all the rest are fixed. So not a fixed, a fuel. Number eleven, which of the following can be done to speed up the breakdown of organic matter in a compost heap? And of course the answer is B, add water to the compost when it is dry. So you have to keep it moist. Bacteria and those things love moist conditions to to break down the products. Number 12 refers to this uh, graph. During Lent, people demand more fish than any other meat. This is represented by a shift from D to D1 of the demand curve. So the demand curve shift from D to D1, that shows that it has been an increase in the demand for something, and in this case, a demand for fish. Because people have eaten certain meats in Lent. 13, which of the following is a feature of a cooperative a each member has one vote all right each member has one vote number 14 refers to the following graphs again we have some more graphs you have a b c and d now the question asks from which of the graphs above can equilibrium price of a product be determined equilibrium price and so the answer is c where this is a demand curve right here supply curve right here and where they intersect you have the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price. All right, so you have the equilibrium price and you have the equilibrium quantity. Where they intersect, you have it right here, and then you have it right there. All right, so that's that. Number 15, which of the following records is, des is designed to give information on the yield of yams? And the answer is the production records. A, production records. All right, number 16, a little tricky here. All right, so you have to squint for this one. Which of the following groups of requirements is essential for a banker to consider processing a loan application from a farmer? Wow. 
And so the best answer is D, collateral, project proposal, credit history. So you have, to, you have to have assets to back up your loan. So you have to have collateral. The bank need to know how much you want. So you have to have a proposal. And they need to know if you are able to pay it back. So you look at your credit history. Number 17, a farmer intends to expand his poultry farm. Which of the following budget will he be prepared? So the best answer here would be a partial budget because it's just about expansion. It's not really about the entire farm. It's a part of it. So it's a partial budget. Number 18, 19 refers to the following economic terms. All right, so we have it down here. Match each term item below to one of the options above, and an option can be used once or more than once on the tall. So we have total income, and total income would be uh, total income would be the same as your gross farm income. Your gross farm income, the comprise of both net, that's, that's, that's a gross, overall, everything, income. So that's your total income. And then you have total income minus total expenditure, and that gives you net profit. So how much you earn, from how much you spend, the remainder would be your net profit. Then we have, we have item 20, refers to the following information. The yields and average price per kilogram of four crops are given in the table below based on the gross, re gross returns alone, which is the most profitable crop for the farmer to plant. So based on those raw numbers, based on the price times how much you sell, which one is more profitable? And the answer is cauliflower because you have 17 times 350. All right, we don't know about expenses, but based on those price times quantity, it's cauliflower D. Number 21, a, a, a soil sample was collected from a school farm and found to be very high in H ions. This indicates that the soil most likely is, and of course, we're talking about the pH here, and so it is an acidic soil. Acidic. 22, a bag of mixed fertilizer is labeled 7, 14, 21. What is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus in this fertilizer? And of course, nitrogen is the 7 and N, P, and K. So nitrogen phosphorus potassium so phosphorus is 14 and so you have a 1 to 2 ratio right there same as 7 to 14 all right which of the following is not a physical property of soil the answer is a ph this is a physical 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 ph is a chemical property of soil 24 farmer zara observed a premature fall of a buds in tomato crop which of the following fertilizer most likely correct this problem and so this is a very tricky one because the answer here is it could be urea because urea is filled with nitrogen and the lack of nitrogen can cause the the falling off of buds but excess nitrogen can also excess nitrogen can also cause the falling off of buds but for this one we're going to go with the fact that okay in there's not enough nitrogen so add some urea to the soil to add nitrogen 25 which of the following should be recommended to a farmer cultivating a parcel of land that floods in the rainy season? And so you have construct deep drains, plant on high beds, plant crops without preparing the land. And so the best answer here would be one and two, construct deep drains and also plant on high beds, all right? Because even the plant on the high beds, it somewhat is able to make channels between the beds to channel the water away also. And of course, drainage is very important so you must need your drainage. Now, there's a crop with a plant crop without preparation, preparing the land. Uh, that's not really feasible, sensible. You need to prepare your land every time. 26. The atmospheric gas being utilized in the man manufacture of food by plants is, of course, carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. And it gives off water and oxygen. So carbon dioxide. 27. Which of the following is not which of the following will not take place if the air temperature rises above 37 degrees Celsius? And of course, we're saying it's getting hotter. So which might not take place if the place is getting hotter? And so A is to increase evaporation. Of course, evaporation will increase as the place gets hotter. B, increase rate of, of transpiration. Of course, it will increase as the place gets hotter to a point, to a particular point before the plant tries to pull back and conserve water. C, increase drying out of the surface soil, of course, soil is going to be dried. So the best answer is decrease risk of fungal disease in plants because fungus need a more moisture-rich atmosphere to flourish. They need moisture to flourish. So if it's getting hotter, then you have less moisture. 28, the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one plant to the stigma of another plant of the same or closely related species is known as B, cross-pollination. 29. The process by which plants lose water in the form of vapor 
to the ear is called respiration. B C respiration. 30. Altering an organism by inserting, deleting, or changing specific pieces of its DNA is normally done to improve food production. This process is called B. Genetic engineering. 31. Farmer Derek has a farm on 20 acres of land. He cultivates vegetables and irrigates his crops with water from a pond in which he rears tilapia and ducks. This practice is called A. Mixed farming. Mixed farming. You're doing both livestock and plant production. 32. Farmer Das has an, has an excess of pesticides after spraying his crops. Whew, it's one worth to read. The best way for him to take care of the pesticide is to B. Store it in a labeled container for future use. Which of the following are true for mitosis? And so the best mitosis is um, cell division. New plants have a different growth habit from parent plant. Characteristics of species are the same. Species chromosomes number is the same. I so said the best answer is two and three. Characteristics of the species are the same. And of course, species of chromosome numbers is the same. Species chromosome is the same. So new plants have a different growth pattern. That's not really true because when you have mitosis, you're dividing and you have basically individual cells. And so it just simply means that the offspring would have similar, would be similar to the parent. You know, you might have similar growth pattern to the parent. So that's why you excluded one. 34. A tall pigeon pea plant with the genotype of big T small t is crossed with a dwarf pigeon plant with a, with a genotype of small t small t. What is a possible phenotype of the offspring? And of course, the best answer is B, half half. So half tall plants, half short plants. All right. Number thirty-five. A selective herbicide is one which B D sorry kills some plants but has no effect on others. 36. The use of living organisms to control weed is a practice known as C. Biological control, using living things. 37. The agriculture sector quarantine usually results in, quarantine means, you know, keep it in one place, don't let it outside. D. The prevention, of con the prevention and control of the spread of disease, disease causing organisms from one place to another. So when you go import stuff or bring stuff from overseas, sometimes they get quarantined. And so that's what we're talking about here. And then you have 39, which are the following are advantages of processing hot peppers. So the best answer is D, 1, 2, and 3. 1, allows the farmer to maximize profit. Yes, value-added products. 2, reduce incidence of post-harvest disease. And yeah, that's a way to preserve your, your harvest. And 3, prolong the storage life of the product. Yes, normally processed goods have a longer shelf life than the raw goods. And so we are we're up to 40 right now, and 40 asks, the technique which can be used to remove the water content of a crop is known as A, drying. So you can have drying, or you can have what you call dehydration. All right, so you have drying right there. Number 41 and 242 refers to the following diagram showing the paths of the digestive tract of poultry bird. So number 41, rough one to read again, the function of the path labeled Two is to so I'm assuming is this one two, and so that would be the crop, and so the function of the crop is to store food. Forty-two, which part labeled one, two, three, four is the proventriculus, and so that's C number three. So that's the proventriculus right here. So you have the esophagus, the crop, proventriculus, gizzard. Forty-three, fish meal is an animal ration, is rich, fish meal in. An animal ration is a rich source of, and of course the answer is B, protein. You want some protein in the animal food? Add some meal, some fish meal. All right, number 44. How much space per bird is required for rearing broiler in the deep little system? And the best answer for me is B, one meter squared. All right, so this one, couldn't, handle, couldn't do this one because the lines have faded. All right, the lines, they are faded. They say, 45 refers to the diagram of the egg, which two parts of the egg are rich in protein. And so, I don't know where they're pointing, so I couldn't do that one. All right, my apologies. 46, legumes are planted in pasture, mainly two, and the best answer here is increase the protein content of a diet. So you add legumes on the pasture to improve the protein content of the animal's diet. 
47. A rabbit farmer adds double the recommended dosage of antibiotics to the drinking water of his rabbit. His, he, he is advised that this practice is wrong mainly because it may, and the best answer is C, endanger the health of the customers. We don't want to stay in the system too long and endanger the people who might be eating the rabbit. That's if it's raised for slaughter. 48. Which of the following occurs during the ostrich cycle? And the best answer here is B. Ovulation. Ovulation is a part of the overall ostrich cycle. Alright. Uh, 49. Which of the following demonstrates good rotational grazing system? Hmm. Rough one to read again. We have one. Under grazing is done to conserve fodder. Two animals are placed in paddocks for four to six days. Number three. Uh, milking animals are grazed first, followed by dry and non-productive cows. And so the best answer here is C, two and three. You, know, you, don't, you do not promote undergrazing. You don't want undergrazing. That's a bad thing. And also, you that's where you place the animals in a paddock for certain days. Then take them to a next one, a next one, a next one. So you're rotating the different paddocks. And also, you can this can allow you to give the the milk producing cows or animals the fresh the fresh grass first up and then give the others the remnants when not so productive number 50 which of the following would give a farmer precise information on the effectiveness of feed given to broilers and the best answer here is a feed conversion ratio c that would tell you how much weight the broilers might gain given x amount of feed fed to the animals to the birds 51 Broilers are slaughtered at six weeks old. The most suitable ration for a five week old broiler is, of course, D, the finisher. You want them to get nice and healthy and fat, and so you want to finish out getting marbled and stuff. So, D, finisher to get them not too fatty, nice and lean. 52. During the actual process of artificial insemination, which of the following is not used, and the best answer is A, a bull. You don't use a bull, you go somewhere, get this sperm from the bull, and then during AI artificial insemination, you have the gloves, the sperm from the bull, and the syringe to implant the sperm into the female. 53. Concrete floors in pig pens are generally gently sloping too, and of course, the answer is B. Facilitate easy cleaning. Just shrub down some, um, take the hose of water, and you're gonna run back down. Alright, you don't want any puddles or anything like that, even though the pigs might enjoy the puddles. Alright, 54. Two diseases affecting rabbits are B. Cockidosis and snuffles. Uh, Cockidosis and snuffles. 55. The beacon is done in layer birds mainly two, and the answer is A. Only one only. Reduce the occurrence of cannibalism. Uh, you don't want them picking up each other. And then we have 56. Boiler birds with signs of blisters on the face, legs, and other parts of the body are most likely infected with, and the best answer is C. Fowl pox disease. Alright? Pox disease. 57. Bees are of economic importance to so citrus farmers because they see increased food production. All right, you need the you need the pollinization to go on so that the foods can develop. All right, the flower become the fruit and stuff like that. You need food development. 59. At which stage of growth is it most appropriate to feed layers with layer ration? And the best answer here is laying ration is D. Five months and over so five months until whenever the end of the productive life you will feed them layer ration last but not last one a livestock farmer uses the formula total kg of feed eaten over total kg of live weight gain times 100 and the best answer here is of course B you calculate the feed conversion ratio feed conversion ratio or FCR all right, GAP means good agricultural practices, GMP means general good manufacturing practices, LCA, not to show that has anything to do with agriculture. All right, so that's it for the May June 2019 single award agricultural science paper from CSEC. All right, the May June 2019. I'm going to try and do some more. If I get any more agriculture paper, I'll do them. I'll also try to do some double awards. So the only way to know is to like and of course subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when learn skn would have dropped another agricultural science video all right thanks for watching